Aus den Niederlanden ist 2007 bei den UK Open im Finale. Hat einen European Tour Sieg einfahren können in Salzburg vor drei Jahren. Die Rede ist vom Dutch Destroyer Vincent van der Voort. Vincent van der Voort nimmt es auf mit dem Weltranglisten Vierten. Er ist der Doppelweltmeister aus den Jahren 2011 und 2012. Er war der Erste, der den WM-Titel nach Phil Taylor verteidigen konnte. Aus Stoke on Trent, Jackpot, Adrian Lewis. When it came to nominating the match of the day here on day one of the European Darts match play in Hamburg, it was a fairly easy choice for the organisers. Adrian Lewis, a two-time world champion, a UK Open champion from 2014 and a European champion four years ago as well, up against another darting heavyweight, Vincent van der Voort, a man who has won a European Tour title in the past, winning in Austria in 2014. We will see him again next weekend as well. He too has qualified for Vienna, but here and now he's looking to make a big impression this weekend as well, and this Paul Nicholson should be an absolute cracker, and we've seen some great matches today, but this one could well be the pick of the bunch. It could well be, Adrian, full of smiles, definitely invested in this raucous Hamburg atmosphere, and why not, it's been a great day so far, Vincent just having a look at the microphone above the stage. He's so tall, he can touch it without going on his tiptoes. <laughs> but this could be a great game. And I'm sure Hugh Ware, having his first day on the European Tour, will relish the fact that he's refereeing this one. Mm. You just have to wonder which Adrian Lewis will see here as well. Tag Adrian to throw first. Game on. And make that point in terms of the European Tour. I mean, clearly, he doesn't want to get his fingers burnt as he did last year when it came to missing out on the European 100. Championship. And... You know, we've seen signs that he doesn't want to make the same mistake again. Um, first round defeat in Jena, a withdrawal from Gibraltar. Leaves him with work to do, but he has put some significant points on the board already. Uh, elsewhere. But Adrian Lewis... 59! ...is a player who has made sacrifices on the European tour before. And if it's the Adrian Lewis that has produced some magic in the Premier League and the World Championships in recent times then he should be a very comfortable qualifier but sometimes we've just seen him struggle to get going in these sort of environments well, he's continuing to make sacrifices isn't he he's just released this week that he's not going to be going to Shanghai for the event in China he's not going to be going to Vegas which is a real shame for the event and these, these, these are family related issues they well. are indeed yeah I mean he's had uh, to make a lot of sacrifices. 16. I know that his wife Sarah has had some health issues and we do wish her well. And it underlines the point that I was making that you know he may have other things on his mind right now. We don't know. Um, but he seemed in fairly good spirits when I saw him downstairs earlier. I remember when Adrian won his first couple of world titles. Around about 116. 116 is a lovely number. It's an even better one if you hit it. Isn't it just... James from the first leg, Vincent van der Voort. And that is a break of throw as well. Second Vincent van der Voort. Two throw first, game on. Threatening already to make this a very, very difficult encounter for Adrian Lewis. Adrian Lewis, when he looked at the draw, he must have thought, my word, that could have been easier. And 60. Van der Voort, you know, people have said as he passed his best, he's had the problems with a back injury. You just wonder what state of mind he's in as well. 
but the way he took out that 116, plenty to admire, I have to say. You know what, Rob? Sometimes, and I can speak from personal experience, darts can provide an incredible escape from life. Just get up there, enjoy the game, and do your best. And for half an hour, nothing exists but you, an opponent, and a dart. It can be a great escape. It can be your worst nightmare as well. But at this point in time, I think Adrian needs to approach it like that. Yeah. And you look at someone like Kim Hybrex, for example, who lost his mother earlier this year. I mean, the way he bounced back from that and just, you know, quickly returned to darts and soon re-established himself and started playing some fairly effective stuff as well. And it's testament to the character of somebody like Kim Hybrex in that particular instance. But Vincent van der Voort is a player who, I mean, let's face it, he hasn't qualified for four of these events already this year. He's only made it to the German Open second round. Lost to Joe Cullen there. So, big question marks about his Vincent, you state of play at the moment. But qualified for this, qualified for Vienna. Maybe signs of life once again. Certainly signs of life here. 58. Well, one thing we do know about Vincent van der Voort is he really likes Austria. Oh, he loves it. He's won the Austrian title twice. Once as a pro tour event and once as a European tour event. So he definitely likes it down in that part of Europe. Watch out for him next week. 59. But we're concerned about this leg and this match. Well, he's taken 116. 102 looks peachy. Guessable. Certainly very guessable now. Double 16. 70. Adrian, you require 117. Well, Lewis is certainly capable of responding here. 57 away. So, tops for 90 but not to be. Vincent, you require 32. It's a long way down from where Vincent aims to double 16. Yeah. A little bit higher. Game from the Scooping to conquer, Vincent though. Vanderbilt, the delegation to Vincent play. Van der Voort, 2 0 to the good. Came through qualifying fairly routine fashion. Willy van der Weyl, 6 100. 3. Sven Gruen, 6 2. Wasn't really given too many problems. I mean, Van der Voort, he admitted he was considering retiring not so long ago with his, with his back trouble. 140. Um, he's had intensive treatment virtually every week since then. Um, but 42. Looks to be okay here and looks to be a player with appetite once again. Sometimes it's that little voice inside that just keeps making you pick up the darts. That I know he's slowed down his practice uh, for this particular ailment, but he still plays a great game. He's still world class. He's still mixing it with the very, very best. And Vincent told me something once, I and mean, there's nothing wrong with this whatsoever because it is his vocation. He plays darts for money. Mm. He's a darting mercenary, and there's nothing wrong with that because anybody in sport these days, as well as loving it, we play for money. 59. Yeah, it's not Vincent the only one who admits that. 164. Um, not by any stretch of the imagination. 164 will not go here for Van der Voort. 60. Adrian, you require 160. Well, Lewis is under pressure once again here, and he will not be taken out 160, so Van der Voort will return for 104. He's already taken out 100. 116. Vincent, you require 104. This is well within his radar here. Double 12. Oh, 92. it just came out of the hand too late. Adrian, you you can see him 60. trying to rescue it right at the end. But Lewis comes back for 60. Top 10. Two goes at it also for Lewis. Only one now. Pressure on here. Ooh, that was a long way down. Vincent, you require 12. Sure what happened there either for Lewis. Maybe a similar slip-up. No the slip up there though from Van der Voort. And I don't think too many people would have seen this scoreline coming. Leg, good player though he is, first. Van der Voort. The fact he's 3-0 to the good and throwing first here. Adrian Lewis in a spot of bother once again on the European tour, as we alluded to, uh, you know, pretty much from the word go. 60. Well, he has been a qualifier this year, Adrian Lewis, and he has been getting some draws, hasn't he? He's, well, yeah, first round in Jena, got Dal Gurney. Yeah, he's 100. a seed now. Um, OK, he came through a couple of rounds in the uh, European Darts Grand Prix, lost to Chizzy in the third round eventually. One hundred. 
crowd are loving this now. Absolutely loving this from Vincent van der Voort. 134. Well, Vincent van der Voort, let's not forget, he only made four European Tour appearances last year. And he made just one semi-final. That was in the Players' Championship. But that doesn't matter now, because... He is well and truly in control here, Lewis, you have to say, struggling for breath here, Paul Nicholson. Well, Vincent likes the front run, he doesn't care for reputation at all on the dartboard. Double 16, Game bingo, 4-0 Vanderbilt, Adrian Lewis is looking over his shoulder at someone who is ripping him to shreds right now. Absolutely. 93. Yep one semi-final appearance in 2016 in the Players Championship and many questioned whether he still had the appetite for the game but I think this is a really good answer by Vincent van der Voort he is still a class act and he's beating a very very good player two-time world champion let's not forget Adrian Lewis 100 and it's just simply slipping away from him here it could be over very quickly indeed let's not write Lewis off just yet though 100 I just look at the action of Van der Voort when he comes back to the board. There's still nothing wrong with it. And there's nothing wrong with the action of Lewis. Sometimes it's just about in between the ears. And these very little demons. But there's no demons tonight because Van der Voort's playing beautifully. Yeah, we'll flag up the averages for you in just a moment or two as well. But I'm pretty sure they will be very good reading for fans of Vincent van der Voort because as well as some power scoring he's not missing a great deal when it comes to finishing off the legs as well he's been absolutely ruthless so far Lewis has a sniff here though or more than a sniff now and from a neutral 40. perspective it's a very very Adrian entertaining game it's 50. fast it's swift and this leg could well be over right now double eight 42 well he will be back because van der Voort's on 180 and perhaps it's just as well but Lewis won't want to mess about too much longer. Crisscrossing all over the board. Uh, Van der Voort is making a bit of a... 75. Dogs dinner Adrian, you require well. eight. Two fours for Lewis. Two twos. Doesn't want to mess around. Oh. Four. Because Van der Voort can smell Vincent, blood. you require 105. This would be devastation for Adrian Lewis if this goes. Absolute devastation. 85 away. He's found it as well. Double 14. James oh. on the fifth that is quite astonishing. Adrian Lewis Six leg, with Vincent multiple mismatch. Well, leg guards, I should say, to get a leg on the board. Opportunities passing him by left, right, and centre. Charging all over the board. Van der Voort gobbles it up. Absolutely devours that one. A 105 checkout. 5 0. And there we see how brutal one he has been. Could be too little too late, Adrian. Could be too little too late. Well, you wonder why they call him the Dutch destroyer. One hundred and Because he does things like at the end of the last leg. And no wonder he's made a UK Open final and quarterfinals of the World Championships and lots, lots more. I mean, it looks 100. so much better than that. That's because the entertainment factor from these two guys has been brilliant. Mm. I mean, I think 6-0 will be very, very harsh on Lewis, to be fair, but... That's uh, what he's facing up to here. But it happens to the best of them. Absolutely. He needs a big visit here. I mean, Van Gerwen, we saw him lose 6 0 to Peter Wright, didn't we? Not too long ago on 60. the European stage. So it, you're right, it happens to the very best of them. Of course it does. Um, Gary Anderson's lost 6 0 before in his life as well. So, you know, this isn't unprecedented by any stretch, but. 83. You've got very, very big odds on a 6 0 scoreline in favour of Vincent van der Voort. 1 6 1 will not go. I mean, Van der Voort, can he check out on 142 here? Well, he can. He Vincent really wants to hit this. Because when you're in this position, you really want to punch it home and win 6 0. Against an opponent like Adrian Lewis, you definitely want to have that on your CV. 58. Adrian, you require. Will 96. he get another poke? Will he have a shot at 84? Adrian Lewis can stop him if he hits this 76 left. Double eight for a leg. 80. So it's 84 for Van der Voort. Vincent, you require for the match. 84. Well, when Lewis has had the opportunities to win a leg, he's just not taken them. It was clearly evident in leg five, and it's evident again here as well. 64 away. Bullseye he wants. 39. <sighs> well, you require been. 16. That would have been not the icing on the cake, but the cherry Games on top. On and Lewis leg. does get a leg Adrian on the board. Lewis. And Lewis, uh, well, 
an ironic celebration, shall we say. He, uh, he still looks dazed and confused. And to throw first. Game well, on. Alec, perhaps he shouldn't have won, he has. And legs he's lost before have been snatched away from him as well. So it's been that sort of night for Adrian Lewis. But hey. he, ha oh, well, he has been second best there, hasn't he? I think so. I think the, the devastating finishing of Van der Voort has been the difference. I mean, Adrian has not played bad, but Vincent has just been One punching his ticket all night. Well, they're all watching on here in the sidelines, and this has just got the crowd on their feet. And Adrian Lewis is still playing his part, isn't he? Well, they've got the first two trebles, and he's looked at the segment, and just like when the dog comes home from a long walk 60. on its own, it's like, where have you been? Lewis. Well, if this goes to 5-2, as we saw with 60. Kenny Nayans and Stephen Bunting, it suddenly becomes a very, very different match indeed. And Bunting says the need to finish things off when he 5 0 to the good is clearly you know, easier said than done. You require 121. It's a battle of the one two ones. It is. Who will prevail here? 101 away. Uh, he doesn't get the treble 17 that would have left the bolt. So Lewis just has to hope that Van der Voort does not 39. finish it Vincent here and now. 121. Wouldn't shock me if he hits this. Me neither. Oh, well, that's the perfect first start. Bullseye. 97. Adrian, you require 82. No more messing now, jackpot. Bullseye. 17 for tops. To stay in the match. 42. That Could be over. Chance. That Vincent, was the chance require to 25. just apply a little bit more pressure. Surely Van der Voort will not look this particular gift horse in the mouth. He's got two darts at double eight for a 6-1 win against the two-time world champion Adrian 21. Lewis. And the agony goes on. Adrian, you require 40. What oh. an encounter this is. What a match it's been. Game and it continues to the Adrian delight Lewis. of this Eight German nine, audience. They don't want it to stop. This, Game on. this crowd wants an 11th leg. No mistake about that. They want this one to go on and on. They, they, I think they want this match to be winner by two legs. One hundred and it's that sort of match. I could watch this one all night. Really could. <laughs> Me too. It's brilliant stuff from both. And Lewis is in business once one again. I tell you what, Rob. You this. don't become a two-time world champion, European champion, UK Open champion, and all the rest without having some guts. One hundred. And. Adrian Lewis at 5 0 down could have said, you know what, it's not my night. But he keeps fighting. Well, dare I say it? Dare I say it? But Adrian Lewis this year has hit two perfect legs. We've had 19 on the PDC circuit. Lewis has hit two of them. And he's in the frame for another one here. Can he make it the hat trick? Oh, no, he can't. Well, he won't mind if he goes on to win the match. I'm pretty sure of that. He wanted to hit that because he was one letter into a four-letter word there when he hit that seven. 81. But, most importantly, 60 after nine. Great, great effort. Super. He's still in the match. He is still in the match. So, too, is Van der Voort. 140. Adrian, you require 60. Well, Tops came to his rescue last time. He's got two goes at it here as well. Games on the eighth leg, Adrian Lewis. Well, this is almost typical, typical Adrian Lewis, isn't Ninth it? Ninth leg, Adrian to the first. Game on. Well, it's fitting it's, the bill, isn't it? It Mr. is. Mr. Malock. Match of the day, I mean, with all due respect to the matches that have gone before us this afternoon and this evening. One hundred and eight. This is the match of the day, and it could well be the fight back of the day from Adrian Lewis as well. Sometimes you just have to sit down, put your cup of tea down, and watch at the brilliance you've got in front of you because they can't miss. This is absolutely sensational. Adrian Lewis, once again, is on for a nine dart leg. We bigged it up last time. He fell at the seventh hurdle, or the eighth hurdle, I should say. Adrian, you require 141. Best of British, Adrian. He's in the money once again. This time he finds it. Double 12. Whoa! Oh, it's just underneath the wire. And he sinks to his knees. But it should be a fourth leg on the board here for Adrian Lewis. 
so so close well I'm going to book a DVD of this match <laughs> can I borrow download it download it now <laughs> absolutely Sixty. brilliant Adrian you require 12 if Lewis goes on to win this it will truly be one of the greatest memories on the European tour no score hasn't well, even got this leg yet he hasn't got this leg yet but he has got a bit more in hand here with Vanderbilt on 2-2-1 two, two, privileged to watch this I've got to say privilege to be here in this crowd, a bumper crowd as well. They're standing in the aisles all over the place. You can't quite see the magnitude of it all on the camera shot there. As Lewis takes out double six. But everybody is on their feet. All around the upper tiers as well. I'll tell you what, Hugh Ware's going to think, if this is what the European tour is like, I want to come back. I want to come back for more. We've got two more days of this. Yippee. 140. I mean, Every leg in the last four legs has been nothing short of mesmeric. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot going on in the sporting world right now. But right now, this, this is the business. For the want of a better phrase, this trumps everything. Yeah, absolutely. Lewis. It's like a magnet in that treble 20 bed at the moment. 140. Sometimes... I mentioned earlier you've got to put your cup of tea down, but I'm tipping my hat to both guys right now because I am enthralled and I am in so much admiration for Adrian Lewis right now. 65. Because I thought Vandervoort had this wrapped up. I thought yeah. that was game over. And the sheer guts, determination, and ability to counteract anxiety and nerves in this game 100. from him has been nothing Vincent like I've ever seen. 156. And credit to Hugh Ware as well for the way he's uh, just kept pace with this. It's been absolutely brilliant from him as well. Um, I've got to say, I'm ready to give these to an ovation, standing ovation as well. Well, all of a sudden, Lewis needs this one to want to stay in the match. He certainly does. Otherwise, it could be curtains for him. And it could be curtains now. Lewis, having worked so hard to get back into contention is now staring down the barrel here, Van der Voort looking at double Game 11 seven. and Vincent van der Voort just about gets over the line Adrian Lewis just running out of steam at the very end unable to finish it off and Vincent van der Voort breathes a big big sigh of relief he finds the winning dart that seems to have eluded him and a little wonder everybody inside this arena is on their feet acknowledging the efforts of these two especially the winner Vincent van der Voort and especially the way Adrian Lewis two-time world champion fought his way back into contention in the end ultimately he just left himself a little bit too much to do but it's another premature exit on the European tour stage for the two-time world champion and it's Vincent van der Voort who goes through to face Benito van der Pas in round two tomorrow Good luck to Elmar Polka summing up this one with Vincent van der Voort. This could be quite some interview, uh, so we'll listen out for this. Quick reminder on the way, the final German player standing, Eric Taufest against John Michael. They have got a lot to live up to. The same for you? Um, let me think about my answer, because if I say something too quick, then the, the DRA is... Uh, I'm, I'm upsetting people sometimes. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to use my words very carefully. Because of this match, concerning this match? No. No, no my match before this, I um, played against Dirk van Dijverboden. Yeah. I said some words and that's not allowed. So I have to think very carefully about what I say. So okay. If you ask me a question, I will think about it very carefully. Very carefully. Yeah. So I won't ask difficult questions because... <laughs> no, no, no. Just make it a close question, yes or no. <laughs> Were you happy with your game? Yes. yes. That's that's what I what I felt. Yeah. But it, that was amazing at the end. I mean, you were up 5-0, and then was a great comeback of Adrian. Great dart. I mean, and 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 this this fast. I mean, that's spectacular, really. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Vincent van der Poort. Da war 